Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a, I guess you would call it a tack video. It was started by George's Nails and Miss Deborah Vaughn um, ended up asking me if I would go ahead and do this one and of course I was thrilled because I think it's an awesome tag. This one's called One and Only and it's the polishes that you have in your collection that are the only ones from that brand. And I was really, I thought maybe I had like maybe five or six. No, I've got like 26 of them. And this was just a quick look over. There might be a few hiding from me, but I think I've got them all covered. I'm going to start off with the four that I think are easily, readily, you know, other people might be able to grab these or have found them. They were st sold in stores. But my first one is from Berry M. This is my only Berry M polish. And this one is um, like a crock effect. It's kind of like the um, crackles or spotteds. And this one's crock effect. And, it's, and it looks like it's a navy blue, but I believe it's really black. But it's been a while since I've used it, so there's that one. And I'm not going to be able to do swatches on these because there's just too many of them. And I know this might come as a surprise to most people, but I only own, only own one of the LA Colors Color Craze. And it's this beautiful gold, glittery, crazy polish. It's just got all kinds of colors in there. And this one is called Glam. Very cool. Now, I do have another L.A. Colors, but this one's from a different line, and this was the L.A. Colors Color Last, and it's this beautiful purple shrimp shimmer, and it can be built up to be opaque on its own, but it's just not, for me, it's a topper. It's just too much work, and I can't see a name. There we go. Ever After. It's right there, kind of all tiny. The next one I have is from Ulta, and I got it on clearance, because, you know, that's how we do and the cap won't fit on there right. But this is an Ulta polish, and I don't even know if they sell these kind anymore. And this one's called Mile High. And it's just a pink cream. Okay, now we're going to head on. Oh, and then Morgan Taylor. You know, this one needs a shaky. Um, this one's the Morgan Taylor that Miss Debbie from Sister Chic sent me. And this one is called Under the Stars. And we all remember, I hope you remember, how gorgeous this one is. Just absolutely lovely polish. Now we're going to head on into the indies. And this is where, um, well, actually, I've got one more that went in indie. Hang on just a second. I got one, one from Shesh. And this is called Silly But Sensible. And it's like my terracotta orangey funky color. Now I'm going to head on into what I consider, there, some of them might not be truly considered indies, but they might be considered like hard to find polishes that aren't just sold in stores or, you know, they're whatever. This one should have, should still be in stores, but it's probably not. And it's the Max Factor, and this is the Fantasy Fire. It's the, I've done another video on this one, comparing it to the next polish. Um, but that's just a topper. It's beautiful. But the next one is Clarins, and this is the infamous Clarins 230. This is the Unicorn P, and it's gorgeous, and it's very, very hard to find and very expensive when you do find it. So, anywho, moving on. This is my one and only Crow's Toes. And this one is called Indian Summer, and it's an insane duochrome. I mean, it's, it's, it's gorgeous. I might have to leave this one out because it needs to be loved really bad. And that's another great thing about these tags is they make you go through your collection and see what you have. Love it. This is my only gosh polish, and this one is the most insane silver hollow I've ever seen. It's not going to show up on camera the way it does in real life. It's gorgeous on camera, but <laughs> no words. And this one's called Holographic Hero. This is the bomb diggity of silver hollow polishes, in my opinion. The next one is from Jendi Nails, and I bought this one out of a D stash from Miss Jessica over at Jessica the Polished Queen. And this one is a gray polish with all these beautiful little um, 
glitters in it. It's got blue and green and teal and silver. And this one's water for elephants. Beautiful. Love it. Just used it not too long ago. The next one I have is from Smitten Polish. And this one is called Hocus Pocus. And it's a hollow glitter bomb. I mean, just purple, purple in your face. Gorgeous polish. This next one is a weird polish. And this is from Serum Number no. 5. And um, this one's called Flashing Lights. Now, this doesn't look like much in the bottle. But what it is, is you put it on your nails. You don't use any base coat, no top coat, no nothing. Two coats, that's it. You leave it alone. Visible nail line or not, you leave it alone. This looks like the reflective paint that they use like on signs and the streets. It is crazy cool. Had to have it. Flashing lights. And then the next one I have, this is Man Glaze. And this is Matte as Murder, and it's a black matte polish. Not much to see there. And I had to pick this one up, Matte as Murder, because, oh my gosh, polish. Just raved and raved and raved about this polish. Had to have it. And it is an insanely beautiful polish. It's a one-coater. Beautiful. The next one I have came all the way from England. Um, this one was sent to me by Claire, Gla Claire Gray. Pardon me, Claire. I'm having trouble talking today. And this is Morgana. And I have done a manicure with Morgana. This is just beautiful. It's purple, and it's got such a crazy shimmer going on in it. Or flash. It's just beautiful. Hopefully, with Claire's petition, one day we'll be able to get these polishes here in the United States. And maybe all over the world. Um, but... This one was beautiful, and it's Morgana. Love it. The next one I have is G Gal Australia, and I don't think G Gal would really be considered an indie. I'm not sure, but this is the only one I had. I used to own a few more, but I've destashed them. And this one's called Twisted Jealousy, and it's a duochrome. And this is one you have to wear over black. It's never going to get opaque on its own. But I held on to it because it's just so pretty. The next one I have is from Baroness X. And it's just a awesome, like, orangey red hollow with gold shimmer in it. And this is called Demeter. And I love that they do the little color coating on the top. There we go with that one. Now, this is the first indie polish I ever bought. And I will always keep it. I don't care if it dries up or what. And this is from Nail Pattern Boldness. And this one's called Flipping Out Hard. And I want you to know, when this showed up in the mail, I totally did flip out hard. I was like, oh my goodness. And there's other colors out there like this now. There's Floam and all kinds of other stuff. But this was the first and the original. There's that one. I only own one polish from Fun Lacquer. I know, hard to believe, isn't it? But I, I do. It's only one, and it is beautiful. And this one's called Seductive Marmalade. Very hard to read on that shiny sticker. And it's just crazy. It, the hollow in it is just insane. Love it. The next one I have is from, and I believe this is from Wicked Polish, WP Wicked Polish. Love the bottle, love the sticker on it. And this is Fairy Blood Spatter. And it's just crazy. This is a topper. It's not ever going to be, you know, opaque on its own. But it is gorgeous. Look how luscious that looks in the bottle. Yummy. And then I have One Single Ninja Polish. And this is one of my favorite polishes ever. It's kind of duochrome sparkly, crazy. I always wear this around um, St. Patrick's Day. And this one's called Shillelagh. Love this polish. It's one of my all-time favorites. And then I have one from Savvy Naturalista. And this one I bought, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, I bought this one for doing strawberry nails because it just looks like 
I mean, it's got the red jellyish kind of base, and then it's got like black dots in it, and it's just crazy cool. And I can't remember the name of this one, and I can't find it. Oh, it's Strawberry Blast. <laughs> or Strawberry Burst. Blast. Strawberry Blast. Get it together, Tina. But anyway, there's that one. Love this polish. So much fun. And then, this isn't this isn't an indie. I don't know how it got skipped. But this is my one and only American Apparel. And it's metallic. And this one is Silver Jazz. And this is just crazy silver. Really like that. And then I have one from... Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. This is my one and only from that brand. And this is Black Dahlia. And it's just such a... Ugh. It's just an ox bloody beautiful polish. It's not going to show up on film like it should. It never will. Um, even when I paint my nails with it, it's kind of hard to capture how pretty this one is. Okay, we've got two more. And I'm going to talk about this one first. And this is Celtic Crelly. And this is from Painted Polish. And I have my I have a friend of mine to thank for this one. She turned me on to this and I had to have it. It's a white Crelly kind of base with all the colors in it for St. Patrick's Day. It's got green and gold and I just, I love this one. This one's definitely a keeper forever. And then my last one is a new acquisition. I got this one in a box that I just got. And you'll be seeing a video about it. And this is Fair Maiden Polish. And it's a beautiful, like, it's, it's beautiful hollow. But it, I guess it's kind of tan or more of a neutral shade. And this one's called Waikiki Beach. Beautiful, lovely hollow in that. Always, always got to have your hollows in the summer. So... That is my last one. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I would love to, uh, first of all, I want anyone that wasn't tagged, if you have a YouTube video channel and you share either just nail art or collections or anything, do this tag. This is just really cool. It makes you go through your collection and see what you have, and I really like that. I would like to make thank Miss Deborah for inviting me to do this one and also George for starting it. It's just, it's a really awesome tag. Very fun, very cool. But now I get to go put all these polishes back in their homes. <laughs> Wish me luck. It's a mess. So, I want to thank you for coming to watch this, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.